seat and we're going to present a sketch on sickle cell anemia. Uh, the people participating are uh, uh, Nidhi uh, Alarbhat and Sahaj Shri, Sona, uh, Saloni, uh, then Raka and Prasad, then Sona, Palak and Tanya. Hope you like the presentation.
So sickle cell anemia is an autosomal recessive disorder. It can be caused by mutation or it can be inherited from the parents. It leads to uh, the shape of the RBCs for, to turn from biconcave to sickle shaped. Uh, the hemoglobin formed is HPS instead of HPA. Due to the sickle shape, the RBCs cannot carry adequate amounts of oxygen and hence uh, lead to blockage of capillaries and uh, Later, it can lead to painful crises and damage to organs. The molecular basis of this defect. So, uh, it can be caused, uh, caused by mutation or it can be inherited from the parents. It is caused due to a missense point mutation of glutamic acid by valine, as you can see here. Uh, valine can fit in, uh, so basically what happens is that inside the RBCs, there is a like environment. So since glutamic acid is uh, hydrophilic, it reacts with the environment inside the RBCs. But once it switches with the valine, which is hydrophobic, the interaction between the RBC environment and uh, the hemoglobin is reduced. And so, um, uh, and also sickle cell anemia is uh, the production of sickle cell RBCs are usually happen in low oxygen environments. To the fact that when uh, oxygen is removed from the hemoglobin, the uh, hemoglobin uh, goes from relaxed state to locked state. So during this structural change, another hydrophobic site is exposed. So uh, when, as you can see over there, the oxyhemoglobin A, which is normal hemoglobin, uh, it, it does not have any hydrophobic protrusion or dents. In dehydroxyhemoglobin, there is a, a formation of a dent due to the change in the structure. But then oxyhemoglobin S, which is the abnormal hemoglobin, contains a protrusion due to the hydrophobic valine. And deoxyhemoglobin contains a dent due to the absence of oxygen, as well as a protrusion due to the valine. And you can see that these, this results in the formation of long fibers of hemoglobin, which change the shape. Uh, in the play, you saw two parents with a sickle cell trait give birth to a homozygous uh, sickle cell anemia child. Uh, the chances of this are only 25% when both parents contain the sickle cell trait, and 50% for a child with the, the sickle cell trait, and 25% for a normal child. So in the sickle cell trait, only one of the genes is mutated and there are only minor symptoms present due to the normal gene which compensates for the abnormally produced RBCs. So the, uh, the production of the RBCs takes place in these cases due to low oxygen tension as well as dehydration. 
Then to prevent the production of the sickle cell RBCs, uh, the patient uh, has to avoid overexerting themselves or dehydrating themselves and avoid scuba diving as well as high altitude. In sickle cell disease, uh, the, both the genes are abnormal and so the symptoms are severe and fatal. The RBCs have a sickle shape with, without any comp compensation from a normal gene lead to the variety of symptoms. Weakness or hard time moving some parts of the body, breathing problem, extreme tiredness, painful erection in males and yellowish discoloration of skin, eyes and mucous membranes, which is jaundice. If the uh, sickle cell disease is inherited from the parents, the mutated gene is present on the short arm of the 11th chromosome. Depending on whether the parents are carriers or homozygous for the sickle cell gene, uh, the percentage of children affected with either sickle cell trait or the sickle cell disease uh, depends on that. strong 